सो देर द क्वेश्चन ऑन सोल्यूशन लॉ क्या ये कंटिन्यू करना चाहिए एंड वी हैव टू डिस्कस इन द लाइट ऑफ डिबेट अराउंड इट सो सेक्शन वन ए ऑफ द आई पी सी सो किस पे है सेक्शन वन ट्वेंटी फोर सिडीशन टॉक्स अबाउट सिक्सिएशन इज इन द सेक्शन वन ट्वेंटी फोर कैपिटल ए ऑफ द आई पी सी इन दैट इज इंक्लूडेड ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश पीरियड स्टिल एक्टिव इन क्रिमिनलाइजिंग सिडीशन सो इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश पीरियड इज स्टिल एक्टिव इन इंडिया एंड एंड दैट इज फॉर क्रिमिनलाइज सिडीशन दट इज इंसाइटमेंट ऑफ वायलेंस अगेंट पब्लिक ऑर्डर सो वॉट इज सिडीशन दट इज इंसाइटमेंट ऑफ वायलेंस अगेंट पब्लिक ऑर्डर सो इफ टॉक ऑफ द सिडीशन it falls under section 124 capital a of the ipc is defined as any action that brings attempt brings or attempts to bring hatred or contempt towards the government of india and has been illegal since 1870 so it has been illegal since 1870 so yahan pe example start kiya inhone last year 14 year old stood stood up on the stage in bangalore and began a speech with the word pakistan zindabad she was promptly arrested so we can give some kind of latest example in the introduction so your exam will stand very different from the crowd so you can give example in every every question you are writing and should be latest example so about the sedition we must know that sedition which falls under the section 124 capital a of the ipc is defined as any action that brings or attempts to bring hatred or contempt towards the government of india has been illegal in india since 1870s so section 124 capital a of the ipc was introduced to, towards the uh, during around british period still active in criminalizing sedition that is incitement of violence against the public order argument for continuing sedition law what are the arguments for example it acts as a deterrent against the activity that is prejudicial to the national security sovereignty and integrity so it is it acts it will act as a deterrent against the activity that is prejudicial to national security sovereignty and integrity that is ssi sovereignty security and integrity then supreme court judgments in kedar singh nath case directing to, towards the uses in appropriate cases so in kedar nath case versus union of india supreme court said that you have to use it in appropriate cases the so supreme court judgment in kedar nath case directing towards uses in appropriate appropriate cases and it is a tool to ensure peace and stability so it is a tool to ensure peace and stability what is the argument against this so violation of the fundamental rights of of uh, speech and expression in india under, under article 90 violation of fundamental right of speech and expression under article 90 sub clause 1 sub clause a the abuse of the power to consult the decision so there is abuse of the power to consult the decision according to national crime record bureau data in 2020 they mentioned there is a 60% increase in the sedition cases while there is reduction in the conventional rate to only 3.3% so according to national crime record bureau data the crime in india that is crime in india 2020 National Crime Record Bureau report in 2020 mentioned that there is a 60 percent cases in sedition. There is a 60 percent increase in sedition cases, while reduction in the conven convention conviction reduction the conviction rate only to 3.3 percent. Even the United Kingdom government has abolished the act, show cases are insignificant in the current trial. Threatens the spread of the democracy by shunning the public opinion. So it uh, threatens the spread of the democracy by shunning the public opinion so we we'll talk of the way forward the limited use in certain well defined situation so we have to use limited we have to make limited use of it in well defined situation transparency in filing adjudication of the cases so there should be transparency in filing and adjudication of the cases so we can use it anywhere that there should be transparency in filing and adjudication of the cases and should be limited use in a well defined situation so ipc section 124 capital a should be used in limited may and in a well defined situations and we have to abolish it 124k or we have to bought the necessary amendment to prevent its misuse after widespread consultations so the citizen fundamental rights must be prioritized in making decision so we should not only follow the britishers we have to make the law according to india's requirement we we'll have to make necessary amendment we either have to abolish or make necessary amendment under the section 124 capital a to prevent this misuse we have to properly codify the law so the citizen fundamental right must be prioritized in making decision